Hello, buddy, come on in. For more than two decades, Roman Petrovsky has gathered the Tottenham faithful. He arranges coaches for supporters out in Wiltshire, ready to make the two-hour journey from Swindon to North London. We've done in the region of about 500 trips. Over 21 years? Yeah. Now, though, this might be his last journey. I haven't been awarded my uh, senior season ticket. Um, I'll be 65 on May the 23rd, which will entitle me to a season ticket. Um, and now to the new restrictions at Tottenham, they've decided that they're not going to issue me with a, a new uh, season ticket. Tottenham Hotspur, like many Premier League clubs, are increasing their season ticket prices next year. But they're also phasing out part of the concessions for over 65s. You've got to have a cold heart to do what you're doing to your own fans. Is it greed? You know, they've got money coming in from every single stream you can think of. So now you're turning on to your own fans. The coach makes it to Tottenham just a few hours before kickoff, and supporters make their way to the stadium. The Tottenham Hotspur Supporters Trust say they're disappointed by a 6% increase in season tickets next year. The frustration is also that new season ticket holders aged 65 and above will not be able to apply for a discounted price in 2025 and existing senior season ticket holders will see their concession reduced steadily, so that a 50% discount will be 25% by 2030. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tottenham say they've reluctantly made this decision, but that the number of senior season tickets has risen fourfold since they opened the new stadium, and that increase is not sustainable. I understand the overheads, I understand there's, there's huge expenses, but football is fundamentally a working class sport and we don't want to see that taken away. We don't want to see fans stop from supporting their clubs because they're being priced out of attending football matches. This all comes after a year in which fans at Fulham and Liverpool have protested about prices. Just because you're over 65 doesn't mean you've got to disappear. And at this game, Manchester City fans joined Tottenham supporters in their campaign to save our seniors. There is a groundswell of discontent across fan bases throughout the division around ticket pricing. Fans have been asked to pay more than ever before, while there's more money than ever before within the game. Now, many clubs say that ticket prices have been frozen for years, that inflation has pushed match day costs up, that they have to be careful about financial sustainability. But supporters say that ticket sales are a small fraction of a club's revenue, and that this is about football losing touch with its community, that clubs are trying to entice in high-paying tourists, and that fans are no longer fans, they're consumers. From the cloudy streets of North London to the sunny banks of the Trent, here at Nottingham Forest, it's the young fans losing out. <laughs> Harvey Humphreys pulls pints part-time, just a short walk from the city ground. So how long have you been a Forest fan for? My whole life. My dad's gone since he was knee-high with his granddad. Here at Forest, they're getting rid of concessions for 18 and 19-year-olds, meaning many of Harvey's friends cannot afford the increase. A lot of my mates paid 190 for the lower in uh, Lower Bridgeford stand. And then now it is uh, 550 or wow. 450, nearly 500 pounds, yeah. Nottingham Forest say the rises were needed for the club to continue to grow financially and remain competitive. This year, the club was deducted points for breaching profit and sustainability rules. And despite the increase, the club says their tickets are among the best value for money in the Premier League. Is there a logic to increase the prices? Yes, there is. Price increases we have seen, though, are way above everybody else and massively above inflation. Is this the price, though, you have to pay for modern football for the Premier League? I really hope not. But it's being seen elsewhere, and it's certainly the direction of travel, I think, in, in, in football generally. I regret it, but... Um, <laughs> it's a bit King Canute, isn't it? Can you stop the tide coming in? As another blockbuster season in the richest league comes to an end, there is no doubting the allure of English football globally, and supporters will still flock to grounds up and down the country. But with rising prices, how much longer will supporters put up with a game that changes more and more?